Hi, Long Range Hunting. Welcome to episode nine of our terminal ballistics testing of hunting bullets versus match bullets. Now today we are revisiting one of my favorite bullets of all time, and that is the ELD match. Now disclaimer, I, again I tell people all the time because people seem to get this confused because I talk about this bullet so much, I am not sponsored or associated with Hornady. I don't get anything for <clears throat> promoting these bullets, and all I care about is simple results, provable facts, and we have that both in the field and we have it in control testing like this. Uh, these bullets are absolutely phenomenal. Um, it's a great balance of accuracy and terminal performance. Uh, and they're just devastating. I've killed everything up to a bison with them. With absolutely just incredible results terminally. That bison, the guide that was guiding me for that, said he'd been doing it for 20 years and he'd never seen that type of terminal performance. He'd never seen so much trauma and that bison dropped dead on the spot. Um, and so <clears throat> this one I revisited mainly just because of the amount of times that I get asked about high impact velocity and what will it do. Um, I, the highest so far that we've done on testing uh, with the ELD match was 2,500 feet per second impact velocity. But I get the question all the time and seeing the magic numbers, well, what's gonna happen, you know, if I get a close range shot that is 2,800 feet per second or faster? Now this test was done with an impact velocity of 2,900 feet per second. Now this is the first time I've actually done a close range shot. Um, in order to get that velocity with my 300, uh, this is a 208 grain ELD match. I had to get 15 yards away. I'm gonna include this in just so you can get a good laugh out of it. Um, and it happened off screen. I wish I'd got it on camera. Unfortunately, I normally have multiple cameras on this so you can see multiple angles of me shooting, etc. I brought the cameras, forgot my tripods, except the little mini one for the GoPro. And the gel is the important part anyway, seeing my, you know, seeing me shoot is just an extra bonus. Now at 15 yards, with an impact velocity of 2,900 feet per second, this hit so hard that not only did it cause a major temporary wound cavity and permanent wound cavity, it also launched that meat and hide the opposite direction towards yours truly. So it knocked all the gel off and that meat, uh, I didn't get to see that part I just got to feel it. Uh, Gary was behind me. He was helping me out. Thanks again, Gary, for everything. Um, and that meat went 10 to 15 feet in the air with that hide flying straight back and hit me at 15 yards behind. I literally got peppered and so did the gun. I was cleaning pieces of meat and hair out of my muzzle brake. Um, I mean, but it, that's how far the energy jump, that transfer launched everything. I got hit. I saw that. I saw it coming. What the... <laughs> I think you can tell the difference in the performance. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I literally saw in slow motion like flying towards me. <laughs>
Now that is impressive, right? That is the type of terminal performance you want. Now it's hard to explain to people because people will say, oh, well, you know, you say this is a bad bullet, but I've killed with it and it works fine. They'll see some blood in the chest cavity. They'll have a hole through the heart and the animal died. And they say, oh, well, this is great results. Well, I used to be that guy. And it wasn't until I got into great bullets <clears throat> that I actually understood the difference. You know, the first time I killed with the match bullet, I had, uh, I had just got out of the military. I went out and went hunting. It had been the first time in years that I'd actually had an opportunity to hunt. And prior to that, you know, I had, I had killed animals and every single one of them pretty much was a track job. Um, and it was one of those things that those hunting bullets just... And even after the military, I still tried other hunting bullets. I tried a whole array and it, unless the shot placement was perfect to anchor it on the spot, like a high shoulder or something, there's always a track job um, versus a bullet like this, where even behind the shoulder with a large enough cavity, you're going to shut down the CNS, just like doing a high shoulder shot and drop that animal. And so the first time it was right after I got out of the military, I had a 303 yard shot on a nine point buck. and I anchored it on the spot with a lung shot. And that really opened my eyes and I started looking into the different ones. And <clears throat> originally I had started with Sierra Match Kings and then it went to the Amax and I started seeing the terminal performance of that and ended up dropping a mule deer at 715 yards on the spot. Then Hornady came out with the improved version, the ELD Match, and so I decided to give that a try. I did extensive testing of the ELD Match and the ELDX. I'm not a fan of the ELDX, even though it is the same jacket, core, and tip. Um, it's shaped differently. It's got a lock ring in there. Um, the jacket is thicker and tapered, and it just it doesn't perform nearly as well, and it also has a higher impact velocity, and that's resulting in limiting your range. Um, so this is an absolute phenomenal bullet. I mean, <clears throat> quite honestly, results, they speak for themselves. I don't have to really, I can talk all day about this, but end of the day, results speak for themselves. And we have these results, not only in controlled tests on different animal species, we've done elk and deer now, but we also have seen that in the field on animals around the world and the performance is outstanding. So we're gonna continue with this. Um, as we go, I'm gonna continue. We're compiling more and more data with different bullets of animals shot all over the world. And I'm gonna start incorporating more of that into these videos and showing those real world results and comparing them to the test. Now, with these tests in the field, ultimately the bullet doesn't lie. This is a simple test and then the confirmation is in the field. We did this kind of backwards. Uh, we had our stuff in the field and we already knew what it was doing. This is simply to help other people who maybe haven't or, you know, people who have used them better understand, especially the temporary wound cavity, because that happens in a blink of an eye. Uh, if you notice the first shot when it's not, you know, slowed down, you don't even see it. You just see the block move and you're not going to see that inside an animal in there's still not a way to get a camera inside an animal and be able to show you that temporary wound cavity and show you the difference in the trauma of that. And a lot of times too, like a shot like this, it's going to show that wound cavity, but that hydraulic shock is going to literally turn that chest cavity into soup. And what I mean by that is a lot of people think soup means, uh, you know, you make a shot, the chest cavity is full of blood, the organs are in there, you know, they, and that's not what I'm talking about. True hydraulic shock is going to where you, I mean, it looks like mush. The biggest piece might be a half inch and it's just, there's no whole organs in there. It is literally almost blown everything up. The heart is in pieces. The lungs are gone. And that chest cavity, I mean, if you scoop it out, it's just like almost soaking wet rice. I mean, it's really weird to explain, but 
that chest cavity is literally just soup. There's nothing big in it. There's no organs. And this, you really wouldn't be able to see because of that trauma. All you're going to see is that vaporized chest cavity. Um, this is going to give you an idea of what, you know, that permanent wound cavity, if it was just going through a solid, would be like. So we have the confirmation in the field of what the performance is, and we have it now in controlled tests. And it shows that what we're seeing here and what is out in the field is identical. Now, a neck shot, you would see more of this. And we've seen that too with neck shots because you're going through solid meat. Um, you're not getting the gap of the lungs of air and etc. cetera. Um, but on neck shots, this is the type of performance you're gonna see if you actually opened it up and looked. Now, I hope this has helped everybody. Uh, for those that are wondering about, you know, can you use them at those higher impact velocities? Absolutely, you can. And as you can tell, the results are incredible. Now, I hope this has helped. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Happy hunting. that hard people hope you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button and turn on notification bell so you won't miss on any future video and happy hunting